I received my son off today and what that is it's a uh, switch that you cut an extension cord and connect it to that. Now this is a little Wi-Fi module. That's it right there. Sun off. I hope you can see that. Uh, I think it was about five bucks. I bought two of them. Now th what this is, this is a solution to a problem that I don't have. So now I got to find a problem so I can use the solution for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this extension cord and I'm going to cut it in half or wherever, cut it in thirds, whatever. But I'm going to use this end and this end. And I'm going to make an extension cord with that, with that in the middle. So this will be Wi-Fi enabled so I can use the uh, Google Home Mini and say, okay, Google, turn this light on or turn this device on or make my coffee or whatever I want to do with it. I have not found a problem yet to use a solution, but I'm going to create the solution. So, all right, bear with me. So what I'm going to do now, I got my uh, soldering iron heating up. Here's my solder. Now when I cut these, I'm going to tin the end. I call it tinning the ends of it. So when I strip it and uh, I have the bare copper wires, I tin it. Now the only thing is, I, you're supposed to use uh, a flux. I couldn't find my flux. So uh, we're going to try it without it. May work, it may work, may not work without the flux. But uh, I guess I, normally I'd go up to Radio Shack, but they went bankrupt. So I'm not even sure I can get flux anymore. But anyway, i got to pick some up. Don't use it that often. But anyway, I've got two of these to write down on the go ahead and set it up and see what happens. Okay. Okay, I've been studying it, trying to think about where I want to cut this cord. Um, probably what I want to do is probably put this adapter fairly close to here. So probably right along and maybe a foot or so down the line. So that's where I'm going to make my cut. That way, wherever I set it, on the counter or wherever, the plug will be here. So I'm going to make it there. So I'm going to go ahead and make my cut using my good old Craftsman Lyman's pliers. And again, these are probably 40, 45 years old. Those are the original ones I bought when I went to trade school. But they are Craftsman, kind of rusted now. But uh, they don't make good quality tools anymore. But anyway, got that. All right, here we go. We're going to take that. We're going to cut it. And then we're going to strip it. fit in the holes. So I'll take my uh, screwdriver here. I'll open it up all the way. Now we'll see if it'll fit in there before I tin it because I may have to cut some threads off of it. Nope, it will work. Okay. So what I'll go ahead and do now, I am going to tin the wires. Like I said, normally, normally I would want to uh, put some flux on it, but I don't have any flux. Couldn't find it. So what I'm going to do, this is old, very, very old, probably as old as me. Okay, I think that took. It would be much better if I've had some uh, flux, but uh, obviously I don't, so. 
Okay, I think it finally took. All right, so that's it. So I'll go ahead and let that cool down a little bit, and then I'll put it in and see what it does. Okay, since this little device uses a polarity, neutral and hot for in and out, uh, don't really know if it matters for sure, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to verify it. So I'm going to take, let's see, your, your hot wire is the narrow blade, and the neutral is the wider blade. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark the hot lead using my own meter here. I can tell whether or not it's a, um, which one's a hot lead. Okay, that one right there. This one right here is the hot lead. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it. Looks like this thing is worn out, but I think it marked it enough for me to know. Okay, so that's the hot one. So I'll go ahead and uh, got a cheap old voltmeter I bought years ago, but it works. Okay, now what I will do, it's got input and output. So this is my input. So I'll go ahead and, uh, so I got them 10, it makes them go in real easy. So I'll just open them up, well they're already open up. And it says line and neutral. So the black side here, the one I marked, goes here. So I'll go ahead and put that in and then show you. Okay, I've got it all done. And I just wanted to verify, which I already did it, but I'll do it again. I just want to verify that the um, line, I don't know if you can see that or not. There's the line. And we're looking for the little end, the little probe. Okay? I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so that one's verified that that is the line. And I'll check it on the other side, and it's open, so there's no uh, connection there. So that's good. All right, so we verified that. So now what we got to do is finish putting the covers on it and button it up. So once I button it up, then I'll open up my uh, telephone and see if we can communicate with it. So that's the next step. I got it all buttoned up. Now see if I can communicate. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've got it all buttoned up. So now we're going to find out what happens because I am going to plug it into the power. So it may go poof. Okay, it's under power. I did not hear no poof. So, all right, we got power. I see a little green light flash. No idea what that is, but it's flashing so now I guess the next step is to figure out how to communicate with it so I guess I'll have to look on the internet and see what protocol I have to use but it's a Wi-Fi I know I can get the IP address from it so we'll go from there but anyway hardware wise it is complete and it works Okay, that's it. I had to go to the Sawnoff website and register it and then download the app on my phone. So there it is. Now if I had something plugged into it, power it off, power it on. So it is connected to my Wi-Fi. Uh, everything's worked, so now all I got to do is attach something to this other end of it and it will be able to turn on and off. So then now the next step is to uh, have my Google Home Mini uh, turn it on and off. So I can say, Google, turn the extension cord on or turn it off. So that's what I'm doing. So that's it. It's all done. Simple.